Hey guys, so I'm here today doing this kind of get ready with me chit chatty type video. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, but once I sat down, opened up some palettes, I got with it. So hopefully it's not too boring and you guys get through the whole thing. I don't know how long it's going to be. So yeah, without further ado, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Why does my hair always have to look like a mess? Okay, so I already moisturized when I got out of the shower with my um, Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer. But I do like to use this moisturizer like right before I'm going to do my makeup. It's the Clinique Pepstar Hydro Blur Moisturizer. I really like it. And it was a, it's a sample, but it's like a good amount. And I don't know if it's the name or what, but I really, I, I like how it sits under my makeup. So I'm going to be priming my eyes with the uh, Priming Potion in Eden by Urban K and then blending it out with this little buffing brush. I'm going to set my eyes. Be easy. I get questions about these brushes. Um, they're Real Techniques brushes, but um, I got them for Christmas in like this little, um, uh, like, what is it called? Limited Edition. There you go. I am going to be using my Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. I haven't used this in a hot minute. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do like a smoky, like a classic smoky eye, but like really simple. So um, what I like to do when I'm, I want to do a smoky eye, but nothing like too intense. And whatever, you can choose whatever colors you want. So like, let's say if I want to like purple smoky eye, like I would take like this as my transition color and then use like this to smoke it out. Uh, maybe this for, um, to in between these two colors. So that's what I usually like to do. So um, you just get like, whatever darkest shade you want to smoke it out with you just use a color in your transition in in your crease as your transition shade um, like three shades lighter so the way I like to do a quick smoky eye is putting a color in my crease and then um, getting the darker color and starting at my lash line and like uh, blending it upwards into the crease after I blend out my crease how many times can I say crease? So um, I'm going to take walnut and work that into my crease. So I I literally go from the inner corner to the outer corner. And it doesn't matter if you get it on your lid. Obviously, you're going to go in with a darker color. So these are one of my like favorite looks to do. Um, like Not looks, but like the my favorite way to apply my eyeshadow. When I all, and I always know that it's always going to come out, you know, good. Like what nice any any time I do it this way so I just blend out any shade if you want more of an orangey transition shade you can also do that if you want more of a mauvey one you can do that so whatever you know you like I usually like um, if I'm gonna do more of an orangey nude or if I'm gonna do more of a mauvey nude pinky nude depending on the lip color that I'm gonna do that's the way I like to pick my transition shade and vice versa. So like if I can't decide on my lip color, I like to kind of like look at either my the darkest shade on my eyeshadow or the lightest shade and kind of go from there if I want a dark lip or a lighter lip. So since I'm going to kind of try to keep this look just a matte brown, going to just work that walnut shade into my crease all the way up and below and then I like to go in with a more like let's look at this is the difference this one is like blown out like a little flower like that and then this one is more like tapered and like blunt I guess so this one is going to give you a little bit more precise blending so now that I'm all done with my crease color, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pack on the dark shade onto my lid. The reason I like to use this and not a like shader brush, something like this that's a little more dense or, or something like this is because yes, it's going to put it on, you know, really dense and nice and dark, but I am going to be needing to blend it as I go just so that it doesn't, I don't get too overwhelmed. Um, sorry, I'm so that way I can easily blend it up into my crease. I don't have to keep going back and forth with brushes. 
So I'm going to pick up bark. I pick it up on one side of my brush and then I'm going to push it into my lid. And it is going to diffuse the color. It's not going to go on as dark as you're going to want it later. Once I press it in and I don't really have as much product le left over, I'm just going to start blending right between the two colors. And then see how you can kind of see the, there's like, it's like lighter right here. But instead of going in with a darker color, I'm going to go back with Walnut and pack it on really good. Because when you did the transition shade, it like did all of the work for you already. So you're now just kind of meeting them in the middle and making sure it's just a nice like gradient effect. I'm not going to do any winged eyeliner. Um, this is like, I guess you could call this a daytime smoky eye. But also, like I said, it depends on um, the colors you want to use. But like I said, I'm just going to keep this really simple. And also, you can add a shimmer on your lid right on top of the darker shade. And that'll also like kind of enhance the eye look just a little bit. So I am going to go in with a little bit of this eyeshadow um, by the by the I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow right here in the Kylie Peach palette with my finger just to put on my lid. Wow. And I said it was just gonna be a little matte smoky brown eye. And then to take it up a notch, just one more notch. For all of you that like to be extra, I see you. This is the Urban K Moon Dust eyeshadow liquid moon dust eyeshadow just gonna it's come just a little bit I like to apply this like right in the center like right in the center like barely and then just blend it with my finger like come on look at that Alrighty then, I'm going to be going in with these Eyelore eyelashes that I discovered the other day. They kind of remind me, they remind me of like the Grand Glamour lashes kind of, but they're like tapered and they're a lot lighter. They're not like as heavy. Um, the, the band is just pretty stiff, so you have to like hold one side down while you hold the other side. And last time I used the dark tone and that one sticks just a little bit better yeah so once it's on i like to go through i know this is kind of be very careful okay i like to go through and just pinch it against my lashes like so okay moving on to the face i've been obsessed with my becca backlight priming filter especially under oh shit, under matte foundation a lot of people just put it in like certain areas but i'm dry so i just i put it i i just put it all over and then of course I use my smoothing primer by Makeup Forever. I've had this forever. And I put it on my more large pore areas. Like I said, I like using it when I use a matte foundation. So I'm going to be going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I'll put a little, little dollop on my hand like that. And... This is in the shade Cool Vanilla. I feel like it's a little yellow for me, but I can make it work. And I don't really like like buff it in really aggressively. I just like literally like kind of pat and like when I pat I kind of push just a tiny bit and for concealer I'm going to be going in with Tarte Shape Tape Duh. I love the way this smells Okay, like I've been used doing like in every single video I've been doing. I'm going to go ahead with the Cream Contour and the Pro Glow Tardist palette with this little blending brush. I'm 
Um, I'm going to use my Laura Mercy A and this little cotton wedge. I like these because you can like really like sculpt out your nose area. And then I'm going to be setting the rest of my face uh, with my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. This doesn't provide like tons of coverage or anything. It just gives that set without caking you up. So I just kind of go in all the areas I didn't put any translucent powder. And then I dust off the excess. So I don't even... Cause since I'm dry I don't even like bake for that long so now I'm gonna be going in with one of my favorite bronzers my OG Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer and this E34 by Morphe um, it's a little like I think it's like a blush brush but I you I use it for both like blush and uh, bronzer but I like to pinch it like this when I do my bronzer to really like sculpt out my cheekbones And for blush and highlighter, I'm going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Okay, I'm going to go in with this middle, middle, right here. This middle blush right here, it's called Amaretto and Blend. And both, and Blend. I've been using my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop the last few days, and which is what I'm going to use right now. And I remembered this blush, like, hey, hello, it was like, where have you been? So, and this is just like the perfect highlight ever. Just goes with any, anything. I like to spray my face like right after I'm done with all my powders. Setting spray makes a world of a difference in your makeup game. Don't say I didn't tell you, especially if you're dry. Especially, even if you're oily, because I know, you know, when you're oily, the makeup doesn't stay on. It kind of, like, starts moving around, so. I forgot to kind of clean up under my contour, but it's alright. I, I can do it right now. Just a little bit. Okie dokie. I'm going go in with this little definer brush and going with the darkest shade. I'm going to go in with Bark. And go really, really close on my lash line. I'm going to bring this all the way in, not into my tear duct, but um, where my lashes end right here. And then I'm going to go into Walnut with this little pencil brush, just a tiny a bit, and smoke it out. Right, never mind, I was going to do an eyeliner in my lower lash line, but I can't find my sharpener, and it's like completely busted. Like literally, it's like busted, like literally. Kids, man. I'm going to do a little mixture of Bellini and Cider for my inner corner highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I've been using the, where'd it go? Where did you go? I've been using um, my Brow Wiz instead of my Dip Brow. I know what the look. Who am I? I don't even know. Um, but no, for real, I've been liking how my brows look a little bit better with the with this because um, I don't know with the Dip Brow, sometimes I, it's me, you know, I can get a little bit over go a little bit overboard so I feel like I have a little bit more control and then this goes on a lot more natural looking so
going to go ahead and set them with some brow gel. I just, I do like how my, um, like the edges, like my arch, how it comes out um, with the brow is better than the dip brow. Like I feel like the dip brow, it can get a little harsh. So I'm not going to do any bottom mascara. Um, I usually don't do any bottom mascara. Uh, I don't know. I just like the more like softer lower lash line. So I think I'm going to go with, All right, let's go with Carmelo. And if it's a little too light, I'll put on bone arrow. A little too nude. All right, guys. But uh, yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, got something from it. Um, you know, inspired you to do something of your own, uh, step outside of your box. You know, la di da. So hopefully, if you guys like this video, you'll give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, also, there's that little bell down there that everybody in their videos keeps talking about. So I guess now, since you're not only if you're subscribed, you don't get like notifications. Um, so you have to click the little bell down there. So um, go ahead and do that so you don't miss a video from me. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.